Hello, this is the second of a series about the story of early jazz and pop music in the early 20th century. So now we move to another format, and it's still not jazz. This is musical theater. It's kind of an early Broadway. And a lot of compositions in musical theater, especially in the big cities, relied on kind of like an ethnic humor. So the following song is known as a coon song, and it's really about ethnics underclass in America. Now, unlike ragtime, it's geared towards sentimental, romantic uh, stories, uh, sometimes criminal themes, and the following song is a good example. Hi, this is Woozy Winks, and I'm the sidekick to Plastic Man. So, say hello to Plaz for me in his crazy pretzel hijinks. And Plaz sends his regards to you, and he asks, You kids, please stay in school. Now, the picture we see is a placard for a old play from maybe 1900. It's called The Widow Jones. It's sort of a play that might have been Broadway, and it has some musical themes. Now, I don't know what the plot was, but I'm just looking at the placard, and uh, I guess the uh, plot is about uh, some lady, uh, she's uh, maybe in her 30s, and uh, she's starting to have a lot of suitors, uh, probably as a very healthy woman, and uh, she guess she's surprised that uh, this many men have an interest in her. So, uh, as uh, an entertainment, uh, you might consider it kind of lowbrow, like uh, fairly populist. And, uh, but... The record that we have right now is called The Bully, and it would be a tangent to the plot because it's bringing uh, a little a bit of uh, interest to the show. Uh, now, the singer uh, was a popular singer named Mae Irwin, and uh, she, uh, she probably sang this song, and she pretended to be uh, a criminal, and she probably wore blackface as well. Uh, because at this time, you know, there still were very uh, strong in minstrelsy. Uh, minstrelsy was still a thing and was regularly practiced at this time. Uh, the song itself, you can hear, it's edited for content. So there's just really one verse and chorus in it. And so... So this here is a picture of May Irwin, the singer. And here is the sheet music. And the sheet music cover tells you the theme of the song. So the song is about a newcomer, and he's a pimp, and he's trying to find the established pimp in the town, and he's carrying a straight razor, and he wants to put that established pimp to sleep. So he's going to take over the town, and since this is a little town, I guess somewhere in the south, and it's the underclass, I guess then he's not just taking over the town he wants to take over the hookers and the gambling so for 1970 this is a real sleazy record and so the role of this kind of song it's not jazz it, it continues the tradition of minstrelsy but there's increasing adult themes in the lyrics uh, themes like unmarried sex uh, crime uh, the inner city uh, the immigrant experience. Now, for popular culture, uh, they didn't talk about it openly. And in the play, say the Widow Jones, there would be white protagonists on the stage, but they couldn't sing about this topic. So they have the star uh, come in and doing some minstrelsy, and that's the only way she could really discuss uh, some of these racier themes. So uh, don't blame me, but this uh, this was the culture of turn-of-the-century America. So, here we have the uh, MIDI of the song, and we also show the chord structure, and we also see that it's really simple. It's really basic. I um, mean, uh, it's just got uh, some major chords and a minor chord to wrap it up, and that's that. So, it's not really jazz, this composition. It's just very traditional, and it really shows you at this time that uh, modern popular music was just not started yet. So why include this song 
in the story of jazz and pop? Well, we have to start from somewhere. At this point, the stage and musical format was not really gelling with early pop and jazz. At this time in 1907, you generally don't hear black musicians being recorded. Sometimes they were if they were part of the music hall tradition. But as far as uh, the more interesting uh, music that was being produced, you don't hear black musicians being recorded. Now, uh, ethnic cultures in America were slowly emerging in popular culture. And this may be an, exa an example, even though it is very, very crude. 